Welcome guys to Bessel Thing and today I'll be with you in a new tutorial. So always this is our slogan. We're a swear computer easily and this is our little push. So catch you in a tutorial guys. Bye bye. So what's up guys today and welcome to another tutorial here by Bessel Tech and today we're going to show you how to create um you can call it a file renamer in Visual Studio 2008. So first of all open a Visual Basic and create a new project. Um well, actually we're going to need three labels, two text boxes, two buttons, and an open file dialog. So let's um, insert them. This will be the browse button. Well, let's rename them. Um, so this label is um, file path. And this one is new file name. Well, and this button is rename and this label I'm going to just delete this because this label will be the extension of the file So we're going to change the properties of this text box in the read-only property. Um, yes, we're going to make it true. Yes, and we're going also to insert now the um, open file dialog. and delete this text in the file name here well actually we're going to now insert the codes so we're going to hit double click on this button and type in open file dialog on the show dialog and then double click on open file dialog one and we're going to type in here text box to the text equals open file dialog one dot file name for the extension label it will change the um, this labels text to be the extension of the file that we just um browsed from here so you're going to make it label free the text equals my computer file system get file info and then type text box one the text dot extension well actually I made a small mistake here this is going to be text box one not text box two here okay so um this is really cool now we're going to 
double click on um, rename if text box one dot text equals and to empty quotations then it will display a message box saying please um choose a file to be renamed else it's going to exit the codes that we're going to write right now we're going to type in dem old name as string equals text box one dot text the substring text box one dot text the last index of and the character slash and um, it's very important to type this slash and not this it's very important so um we'll continue the code plus one so um this is um going to get the old name from the file path and it's actually the name of the file and its extension too so um we're going to type here again dim new name as string equals text box to the text and label to label free the text so this is going to um, make that new name so I get to go on if text box to the text equals and empty quotations then message box please type the new file name so um well else then we're going to type try catch statement and this is actually the code for the rename of the file so um, we're going to type in my dot computer dot file system dot rename and this will be the path here we're going to type the path of the um, file which is text box one dot text and the new file name which is new name text box one dot text equals text box one dot text dot replace old name and then comma and new name and this is responsible for updating the um, text box we are going to assign the new path to the open file dialog one file name so we're going to type open file dialog one dot file name equals text box one dot text and finally it will display message box um, telling us that file is successfully renamed in the open file dialog we're going to type text box to the clear let's have a look at
You can change this. Untitled rename. If I can choose another file. So uh, the text box is cleared as you see right here. So um that's it guys and you are going to find a um a post in our new blog um discussing this um program that we've just created and also you're f going to find the project files attached um to this um blog post so um i hope this helped and um subscribe for more videos and tutorials so um catch you in the next tutorial guys bye bye